we here today i'm super excited to talk to you because i'm going to be talking to you about one of my very favorite topics and that is travel if you're familiar with my channel you definitely know this and today i'm coming at you with my best female solo travel tips so let's get started so i want to start off this video by just giving a big thank you to our friends over at Moshi for sponsoring today's video. When traveling around Europe, you have to be especially careful about all of your belongings. And that's why I love my Capto by Moshi new cell phone case. Capto's multi-strap provides a firm grip when taking photos or checking your phone. This is especially helpful because you never know who you're gonna be passing on the street. I've heard extreme horror stories of people just walking by and grabbing phones out of hands when as you're about to find out, that is your access point to Google Maps, data, Wi-Fi, reaching out to family and friends, and maybe you even have copies of your important documents like a passport photo on there. You always want to be aware of your most special belongings. The Capto case also has incredible features. It makes it easier to take those incredible travel selfies using the kickstand mode while you're on a train or an airplane to maybe watch a movie. Just the strap in general for when you're checking your phone out on the street or in a public place. So now it's time to get started on all of my best tips. So as I just mentioned, it's important to keep your belongings safe and that includes your cell phone. Before you go on your trip, I highly recommend taking photos of your bags once they're packed and of your travel documents. So this could be your passport, your driver's license, anything that you're going to be carrying on you on your trip that if you lost it could get you into problems if you have photocopies or photos of these items it is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of stress if you happen to get them stolen or lose them my next tip is packing try your best not to overpack. i think it's a problem a lot of us have if you're looking for any videos on how i pack i will be leaving them down below i actually spent about six, seven months last year living out of a suitcase. So that will show you how I packed around my entire life in a suitcase. But just be aware of the fact that you are gonna be having to carry your belongings. So let's say you're doing a backpacking venture. Make sure that your backpack isn't too heavy for you because you don't wanna spend a day in a beautiful city like Paris or Rome in bed because your back is really sore. Next, while you are traveling with backpacks, one thing I definitely recommend is not leaving anything valuable in a pouch on the outside of the backpack that can be easily accessible by pickpocketers. Let's say, for example, you're about to get on a metro somewhere and you have your backpack on you. You can't really be aware of what's happening behind you. You have probably heard a lot of stories of people being pickpocketed in places like trains or metro stations and it's because when there's crowds of people and everyone's pressing up against each other you never know when someone's just unzipping your backpack sticking their hand in and getting something that they shouldn't have so keep all of your valuables outside of any outside pockets the next tip i have for you is how to carry your belongings so let's say you're out and about in the streets exploring and you have a purse or a small backpack with you if i'm wearing a small backpack or purse i always like to hold it in front of me this is especially important when you are entering into public spaces so whether this is a big piazza you're checking out a big monument you're in a museum anything like that where you're surrounded by a lot of people just hold your purse in front of you or for example if you are pulling out your cell phone to take photos and just carrying it with you put your finger through the capto strap on the moshi case this will prevent you looking like a possible target for people who are looking to pickpocket or looking to swipe items so in regards to keeping things safe while you are checked in, while you are sleeping, if you're in a hostel, I definitely recommend always checking if these hostels have lockers. I personally always check if hostels have lockers because one time I didn't and I found myself being super freaked out and sleeping with my laptop underneath my pillow each night because I didn't want anything to get taken. And in hotels, of course, these are probably more on the safe side you can't ever be totally sure so i highly recommend locking up something like your passport or extra money you have that you're not taking out with you for the day in the hotel room safe normally these are located in the closet so be sure to check for that so the next tip i have while traveling solo is to not share too much about yourself or what your ventures are especially if you don't feel comfortable or confident with the people that you are around 
So for example, let's say you find yourself out for dinner and you are approached by a group of guys and they're just being friendly, but you don't want to share too much. If you don't feel comfortable or confident in telling them that you are alone because you, maybe you get some uneasy vibes, make something up like your friends are back at the hotel or hostel because they're super jet lagged and you just wanted to go out and grab a bite to eat. And the same goes for where you're staying or where your next travel plans are. Don't give out information unless you feel comfortable with it because you just never know who's out there in the world. You don't wanna be followed home in any sense. So just keep things a little bit more on the hush side unless of course you're making friends who you feel like you might wanna travel with because sometimes that does happen too. I've definitely met friends that I really gelled and clicked with and then we met up in a different city while we found ourselves there. So just trust your vibes, trust your intuition when it comes to that type of situation and don't be afraid to hide information. The next tip I have along with that is learn to say no. So as a Canadian, this is something I definitely had to learn when I see vendors on the side of the streets, for example, trying to sell me things like selfie sticks or stuffed animals or bracelets. You just have to give a hard no. You have to give a hard no, a confident no, and just keep walking because you're not gonna be able to buy everything. You don't wanna be carrying any more junk with you because you have your suitcase, you're solo traveling, you're the only one who's gonna have to carry all this. So you don't want to accumulate a lot of stuff. So be sure that you practice your no's before you go and be confident about it. The next tip I have is in regards to problem solving. If you are solo traveling, you are definitely going to be faced with challenges. Don't fear though, because now we are in a world where we have cell phones and Wi-Fi and everything is Googleable as long as we have a connection. So be sure that if you are traveling in a place that seems to have limited Wi-Fi, you pick up a SIM card, which is often available at the airport of the place that you are arriving at, or if you wanna go the cheaper route, you can find something in the center of the city once you get there, but I definitely recommend it. Personally, when I did my first backpacking venture when I was 20, I had a Blackberry and I actually didn't have data and I couldn't seem to connect to Wi-Fi while I was over here in Europe. It was many years ago now, <laughs> but I did have printed out paper maps and I got by just fine, but there was of course the times when I wish I could have Googled something and I didn't have access to that until I was back at the hostel. So just be aware of this and add it into your budget. And while you are traveling with your cell phone, I highly recommend downloading Google Maps offline before you get to your location. So luckily, all the airports that I've been in nowadays always have Wi-Fi. So while you're waiting to board your next plane or the plane to your destination, take the time to download Google Maps offline of the city that you are gonna be entering into. This can be super helpful if you are taking a shuttle bus into the center and need to know how to walk to your hotel or hostel, you already have your Google Maps ready to go to guide you to your location. The next tip I have is hydration. Always be sure to check if the tap water is drinkable before you get to a place. So this is something that I often still forget to do. Like for example, we were just in Ibiza this past summer and I didn't even think to check if the tap water was drinkable and I found myself super thirsty late at night drinking what tasted like seawater. So, be sure that you are aware of this and I definitely recommend bringing a reusable water bottle. You can get the ones now that are like little pouches that you can roll up and keep in your backpack. And oftentimes in cities like Rome or I know Paris, they do have fountains with drinking water all over the city so you can easily fill up your bottles. And of course, staying hydrated is very important for your safety and your health. Next, alcohol and drinking alcohol. Of course, if you are traveling solo, you know to be more protective of yourself. Don't go crazy. Don't be taking a bunch of shots for the first time if that's not you. <laughs> be aware of how much you are consuming and the places you're consuming them in. This means keep a watch out of all your drinks. Be sure that if you do order something that comes out of a bottle, watch them opening it up themselves and just be very aware of these types of things it's more and more common in the news to hear about different drugs being placed into drinks so just be sure that you are being safe and aware 
And if you do find yourself feeling uncomfortable, maybe you feel like you did drink too much or you start to feel a little bit uneasy, it is very important to put your safety first. So if this means spending a little bit of extra money to get a cab back to your hotel or hostel, just do so. Always keep in mind safety first and incorporate a little safety fund into your budget. And this goes with anything, like whether you're drinking or not, if you feel unsafe in a certain place, like you don't wanna walk home late at night, even if you haven't had anything to drink, then just use that side of cash that you have for a taxi. And my last set of tips are around the subject of sleeping. No matter where you are, when you first check into a place, be sure to check for bed bugs. And the way that you do this is by pulling up the sheets and checking in the little cracks of the mattress. If you see bed bugs, don't put your luggage anywhere near it because I've heard extreme horror stories of bed bugs being everywhere and causing infestation. So just be sure to check for yourself first. And if all is safe and clear, then you can put your stuff on the bed or you can start unpacking. My next tip is for sleeping in hostels. If you are sleeping in hostels on websites like Hostel World, which I often use, you can book female only dorms. So this means that you're only going to be sleeping in a room of girls. When I first did my solo trip around Europe, I stayed in only female dorms. And occasionally I was put into a dorm where it was just me. It's also a very smart idea to bring along earplugs and a eye mask if you are sleeping in dorm rooms because oftentimes people have early flights, they come into the hostel late, so it's quite often you'll be woken up multiple times during the night, so just save yourself a little bit of discomfort and get the earplugs and the eye mask before you head out on your trip. I'm wishing you guys an amazing holiday wherever you're off to. Please let me know down below. Of course, of course, these tips can work for males and females, but these are my tips for you ladies out there because I know that solo female travel is something that often attracts hesitation from people, but I can tell you I've done so many solo ventures on my own and it has been the most incredible and rewarding experiences. I'll leave any other videos related to this one down below for you to check out. Bon voyage wherever you're off to. See you in my next video. Ciao!